What's up everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here. And uh, it's Friday. Probably about like four o'clock and I just got to camp for the weekend. It's gonna be a little bit of a long week. I'm staying through Monday. So, uh, I don't know if you can see it. I made a video of this the other day. I don't know if it's gonna make YouTube or not, but here's one of my new toys. I had it tucked back here. I'm trying to keep it in the shade. I didn't even make room in the shed for it yet, so. But. There's one of my new toys. It's a 09 Honda Rincon 680. Uh, I like it a lot so far. Uh, so we got that going for us. Uh, probably going to do some, we're going to do a lot this weekend. Uh, I got a lot I don't have enough time for nearly what I want to do, but uh, one thing we're definitely going to do is we're going to do some wax dirt. I got an unboxing from Code Creek Trappers we're going to do. And uh, do some riding and I'm going to probably shoot the crossbow too. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so here goes a big part of my uh, trip up here this week was I stopped at Coon Creek Trappers and uh, I got some traps. So I was torn between the Duke 550s and the MB 550s. So what did I do? I went and got a dozen of both um the dukes are offset jaw where the uh the mbs are not but what i'm going to do this year is i'm going to run a comparison comparison uh just for the fun of it just to see if it really matters if uh how many pull outs i get or whatever you know what i mean uh wood traps are held up better which ones had catches um i got a log book that i'll show you guys a little bit later and i'm going to be doing a giveaway for one of these log books too coming up so um Asher Brothers uh if you don't follow Asher Brothers I'm sorry Asher Brothers if you don't follow Asher Brothers on YouTube grab them up uh, I actually grabbed one of their two of their log books I'm going to keep one for myself and I'll be doing a log book giveaway here once we get a little closer to trapping season I still got the 500 giveaway coming up too um I'm just I just haven't hit 500 yet so I got the 500 giveaway I got the Asher Brothers trapping log book giveaway I'm going to give away closer to trapping season and uh, that's just the next two I know of. So, um, but we're gonna I'm gonna log all these traps and see what's going on. Uh, I got a bunch of buckets. I got some sand. Got some tarps. We're gonna be doing some wax dirt. Uh, all I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna scrub these up, degrease them, and then uh, I'm gonna let them hang for a couple of weeks and let let them get a little bit of rust. I'll probably spray some vinegar on them just to uh, get the rust started a little quicker. But. Um, think labor day weekend i plan on waxing and dying if not labor day the weekend after so this got about good three weeks of uh hanging get letting the weather up so see how it goes i don't know uh i would like to get one more dozen traps i just don't know what i'm gonna do um i don't know i was almost tempted to get some bridgers but um this this right here is plenty good i just got i got big things this year coming up so hope you guys enjoyed this uh this is gonna be a long video guys stay tuned what's up everybody well i gotta talk over the generator because i have to charge batteries but so it's crudely built but i think it'll get the job done i gotta sift a lot of dirt so i'm hoping this this will help me speed it up a little bit if not i gotta go back to the hand sifter um it's it's dry dirt it's just clumped together i'm gonna have to beat a lot of it with a hammer and get it in a smaller piece of it i think this will work uh the plan is is to, uh get most of it sifted tonight and then tomorrow get it out here i got about three good days of uh weather where it's going to be mid to upper 80s and some sun the next three days so i get as much dirt ran through as possible i got it set up i got three different tarps so i could be doing 
uh, 10 gallons on each tarp, three different, I could do 30 gallons at one time if, uh, if it's set up to. Uh, I don't think I got enough dirt for that, so I'm gonna run with dirt I got, and uh, maybe we'll find some more dirt up here. Uh, if not, I know I got dry dirt at home, it's just a matter of getting it up here, so stay tuned. I'll show you some pro pro uh, process along the way. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, guys, wanted to give a little update on my, how my sifting was going. Uh, I sifted through that first bucket, and uh, it come out pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty efficient. You can see my finished dirt. No, it's, a, it's a little wet, but um, it's good for what I'm going to be using it for. So, um, And I do got some sand that I'm going to mix a little bit of sand in with this, too. Um, maybe, uh, I was thinking maybe five pounds. Five pounds in each, each bucket of sand with dirt, so... I'm experimenting a little bit. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do or not. Uh, I don't know. I just think sand packs a little bit. I noticed in the past, uh, sometimes it's tough with your wax dirt to get a good bed, but the sand, I'm thinking, will firm it up a little bit. Could be wrong. Could be right. Who knows? We're going to try it. So uh, let me get back to sifting. I got to get this generator running because I do need my batteries for tonight. So uh, I don't know what I do with my other charger. I usually have two chargers up here, and I only have one charger I can find right now. So I'm only able to charge one battery at a time. So <clears throat> I do got a battery charge for the fan tonight, and that's really what I need to sleep. But uh, I want to charge some batteries up so I don't have to run the generator every day. So I figured I'd give you an update on the uh, wax dirt. So um, I ended up filling this bin up last night, and then I stopped sifting dirt. I still got some to sift. But, uh, my sifter needs work so i'm just gonna wax what i got and then tonight i'll sift and then we'll just start over again tomorrow but so far i got uh there's no wax on this yet i'm just letting this dry out a little bit i did add a little sand to the mitt to the dirt um i don't know probably two pounds of sand to a bucket maybe got that one and then i got this one over here going um we had this big clod that was over us for for a good hour so now we're gonna get in some good sun so hopefully this stuff will start baking out here um i'm probably gonna jump on my quad and go put a trail cam up maybe uh get some footage of that but uh you know i plan on being here most of the day uh eventually i'm gonna start cutting grass and stuff so it's gonna be a day at camp my uh my fun will be the occasional quad ride to cool off so all right stay tuned i'll get you some footage once we start getting some wax in here and uh keep you posted thanks for watching everybody all right guys so this here has been sitting for about 20 minutes um you can see it's starting to get wet around the edges so i'm gonna let it sit for an hour stir it another hour stir it and then another hour and then a start it'll be done um, i'm gonna do a three hour cook on it um this one here i'm about to add the sand to it um it's 10 gallons of two five gallon buckets of dirt 10 pounds of sand or uh wax um i did mix a little bit of sand and probably maybe two pounds or something in each bucket just just to get a little i don't know just to try it so <clears throat> i'm gonna time lapse this so you can see what i'm doing but uh mainly what i'm doing is i'm just gonna sprinkle the sand in mix it up spread it back out thin and uh let it sit for an hour so hope you guys enjoy All right, guys, so that's that. Um, I do got one little rock I don't like here. Uh, let that sit for an hour. And this one here is, I don't know, probably about 23 minutes or so. So, 25, so I think an hour is gonna be good and then we'll mix it and we'll see what goes. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, so that's after one hour. It's been sitting for one hour, so I'm gonna uh, mix that up and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna take all three hours, but I don't know, so we're gonna, we'll see. This is a work in progress. This is the first time I'm doing it this way, so let me mix it up and uh, we'll get back to you. All 
right guys i think i'm ready to do a test run on this so uh, bear with me moment of truth Not really digging it. Yeah, we got a lot of wet, 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 wet mud in there. Not digging it means it's not done. Wah, wah, wah. All right, guys. So here's the update. Yes, it was a big fail. Um, I didn't get the sun I needed to melt this wax. Um, I had some clouds. It was mostly slunny, but the clouds would move in and it would just, the temperature on the sand, the dirt would just drop and I'd lose everything I got. So today I got really good sun. Um, the sand's looking way, the dirt I should say, the dirt's looking way different today than yesterday. This is only about an hour sit. Um, this one tarp was a little smaller and I spread it out onto this bigger tarp. So we're definitely getting somewhere now. I'm gonna let it sit for another hour. I'm gonna go grab some lunch and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna sift it again. And then we'll do a test on it. Um, I'm not gonna try to start no more this afternoon because it's already probably close to noon and uh, I just, I'm afraid I won't get it done. So what I may do is sift some dirt and then it's just, I just know that this will have to be a really clear sky. Um, start early in the morning type deal. Um, I could probably set up over here to start getting daylight direct sun at about probably eight o'clock over where i'm at here it was about 10 o'clock before the sun really started hitting it so live and learn we'll see how it goes uh this here is already more wax dirt than i had last year so this is this will be four got four or five gallon buckets right here plus i got another bucket and a half already sifted and ready to go and i got plenty of dirt that needs sifted so um even if I have to do it on the stove, I'll, I'll have to be doing some on the stove if I can't get the sun to do this. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to go grab lunch. All right, guys. I just did another turn on this. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can really tell how darker it's getting. It's definitely getting there. So we're going to do a test run on some right now. Both batches are looking really good. Let's hope this goes better than last night's. we're gonna let it sit for another uh little bit here we're gonna let it go for another hour and then we're gonna call it uh it's too late to start anymore so i might as well let a good bake it in this make sure it's 100 percent good so we're gonna call that on the wax dirt uh that's five, four, gallon, four or five gallon buckets. I want another, at least another four, so we're doing this again. Uh, I have some dirt already for the next batch. I just got to sift it and get some more. I actually have more dirt coming, so I'm going to have more dirt than I need. So, All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll see what else we get into this weekend. It's uh, Sunday. It's probably about 1 o'clock, maybe a little bit after 1. Um, I'm not going home until tomorrow, so... Uh, I got some other things I want to clean them traps up and get them sprayed down with some uh, vinegar. Let them rust up a little bit because I plan on dyeing those traps come uh, Labor Day weekend. So I got about three weeks. So, all right, everybody, stay tuned. Well, while I'm waiting for dirt to dry, I figured to bring the bring the boy down here to the swimming hole. And uh, he couldn't wait for me. He had to get down here and get in first while I was putting my, my water shoes on. <coughs> brought a bag i'm gonna get a couple more rocks uh the fireplace thing is gonna be going real slow soon because i'm running out of summer so it's a good time to come down and get some rocks too while i'm here it's really low really low uh-oh uh-oh here 
Come see it first. He ain't giving that toy up for nothing now. It is cold, boy. Whoo! Might be as far as I go. Nah, it ain't that bad once you get used to it. All right, guys. Let me uh, show the boys some attention here. Get some rocks and uh, get back and see what this dirt looks like, man. All right, stay tuned. Update on the dirt, guys. It's uh, it's actually looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna fold it up one more time and spare it out. I'm gonna use the last little bit of sun. As you see, I'm getting. I'm getting close there. I might drag this tarp up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. But uh, I'm letting it go till dark. I'm not testing it again until after dark. So um, hopefully we get another two hours. It's it's still pretty hot. So let me do what I got to do, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. Here it is. This is uh, make or break on the wax dirt. It's the most. Uh, make sure you guys can see it. We got some pow dirt. Come some water. That looks pretty good. I'm liking that. I'm gonna test the other batch out too, just in case. But, uh, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. It's way better than it was. And uh so what I did is I soaked my uh my traps in a little bit of dish soap just to get that oil oil off and then rinse rinsed them off here. But uh man the MBs are already starting to rust up a little bit. The dukes have very little and uh they've literally been out for maybe twenty minutes. They soaked in there for mostly most of the day. I just soaked them in that cooler with some dish soap and agitated a little bit here and there but uh i'm gonna get these done up with uh wolf fangs get my trap tags on them get them sprayed with a little bit of vinegar so the next couple weeks they get a nice little uh nice little coat of go uh, wow rust on them so uh all in all i'm pretty uh pretty happy with the wax dirt it did take a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. Uh, man, I thought this was going to be like a three-hour job. But by the time I sifted dirt, I mean, it's Sunday night. And uh, it was a rush just to get these uh, four or five gallons done. So next time I might shrink it down. I might try two, one gallon on a tarp. Uh, I just got to see what the weather looks like. Today was ideal, perfect weather. If I can get another day like today, especially on a Saturday, and, and gives me a Sunday to back it up if I need to, I could be good. So, excuse me, and uh, that's still looking good. So, I'm going to call it a success. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to get into. I still haven't shot the crossbow. Uh, I might show you a little bit on these traps. I really don't know how long this video is going to be. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me some feedback, and uh, I'll get back to you. What's up, everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here. Um, it's Monday. Uh, I just finished cutting the grass here at camp. Uh, I'm not even going to weed whack today. i got a lot of things i got to do. Uh, I wanted to show you these traps. they got a nice layer of rust on them already just from overnight. So, The front row here is all my uh, MBs back row is all the uh, dukes all I did was wash them with dish soap and then I sprayed them with some vinegar while they were on the rack here and uh, I'm gonna let them hang here for a couple weeks but uh, I'm liking it so far it looked good hopefully they take some dye 
Uh, went through some of my other inventory, all my traps. Last night, I uh, got some of my bridgers up here. I believe these are Sleepy Creeks. I believe they're Sleepy Creeks or Sleepy Hollow. I believe Sleepy Creek is what they are. But we still got um, some more traps to get up here. Um, I got to make a rack up here. This is sort of makeshift last night, but I need to come up with something better to hang my hang my uh, steel on. Uh, I don't like keeping it in the shed because of the smell of uh, the quad and everything. So, and the lawnmower and everything in there that's sort of sinky. So I like to keep them outside. I was thinking about maybe making a little pavilion with a little roof or something, but um, I'm not sure how much more footage I'm going to get from this weekend. Um, I'm really on the way out of here. I gotta go make a dumpster run i gotta make some room in the shed and then uh probably pack up and get out of here but the yard's looking good it's all getting there so like i said guys i don't know if i'm gonna get anything else on this video but if not make sure you hit that uh hit that like button down here and um Make sure you subscribe and uh, stick with me. I'll put some more videos up. Thanks for watching, everybody. So, guys, uh, I'm just getting ready to pull out of here camp. I just got back in the truck, uh, getting situated, and I'm about to pull out. But um, what I wanted to say is uh, next Saturday, August 15th, uh, is the PTA, Pennsylvania Trappers Association, meeting in Clearfield, Pennsylvania. If, uh, if anybody's around for that, I will be there for that. And then also at the end of August on the 29th, Trapper Paul has Kids Day. So if any of you guys from Western Pennsylvania, Eastern Ohio, New York, uh, there's them two events coming up for Trappers. So I just wanted to put them two things out there. I will probably be at both of them. And uh, I gotta go. Uh, it's Monday. I gotta be. I gotta work tomorrow and through Friday, and I'll be back up here for the weekend. Uh, as far as next weekend. Uh, probably just see about doing some wax dirt i am going to that uh that uh pta meeting on saturday so that's gonna eat up some of my time on saturday so but uh, i'm only about an hour from clearfield so it's not it's not too far from where i'm at at camp so that's where i'll be i'll be staying here but um i do want to uh do some work on the quad i barely even touched on that on this video i mean i, I barely got to ride it uh i stay pretty busy with this wax dirt uh Moving forward, I'm I'm thinking about doing the uh, cement mixer. Uh, I looked into some cement mixers and I seen it. They're not that that crazy expensive. Uh, plus, I got a I got a couple that I could borrow. I'm just worried about them being a little too dirty. So, uh, I'm looking at that angle already. So, uh, look out for that. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you uh, check back. I'll be putting some more trapping videos up here. I'll be getting some uh, some be doing some dye and wax on these traps. Uh, probably Labor Day weekend. Um, so got some exciting things coming up before the season actually starts here at the end of october so thanks for watching everybody if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe like button and uh leave me some comment appreciate it